Oh, hell yeah. Welcome back to another Curtis Pike tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to add infrared to your footage. Maybe you're a short filmmaker and there's a creepy guy or a creepy monster that popped out of nowhere and is looking at you in infrared. Maybe it's a shooter movie and they've got an infrared scope. Maybe it's a video game and you're just trying to show how you're sniping guys with infrared. There's a million reasons to use infrared, but we're going to get Predator on this, and I'm going to show you how to do it. The basics, and then we're going to show you how to adjust it if you're if, if the basics doesn't uh, quite do the trick for you. First things first, open up your After Effects. I've got a Adobe, Adobe After Effects CC 2015. Get some stock footage. I've got some abandoned old office building footage. Going to drop that into the project panel. I've already done it, but there it is, just in case you weren't sure. And now I'm going to drag that bad boy down there, and boom. We've got some pretty creepy footage. But in this creepy footage, there's somebody chasing somebody with infrared goggles. Why? Because that helps me make this tutorial make sense. So that's the deal. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to create it so that maybe we start off here, and then maybe when the bad guy gets through the door, right when he gets through the door, he flicks the infrared goggles on. So let's say at this point... He puts on his infrared. Again, this is just for tutorial purposes. This could be anything. What are we going to do? The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split that bad boy. So we're going to turn this into two layers. So let's do a quick edit. We are going to split the layer. Now, the layer on the bottom, I'm not going to touch because that is the way I want it. I don't want any infrared until this point here. This is the layer we're going to do some work on. All right, so first things first, window, effects and presets. You must have that open. If it is not open, click on that so you see it. Mine loads on the right side. Second part is we're going to look for infrared. Now, we do have a infrared inside Adobe After Effects built in, and it's not that bad, actually. Uh, so right out of the box, if you're not a specialist in in these types of videos and this does the trick this could be all you need to do drag and drop that on your footage you notice it is dropping on the top layer and boom we are in red infrared and it does have some green tones on the side there which is kind of nice now for some people that's all you need to do and you know what it is quite a nice effect not gonna lie it has the green and the red which is traditional um, infrared now you can get froggy and get in here and start doing some adjustments. I like to adjust the opacity and the color sometimes. For example, this chooses the brightest red right out of the box. This is the brightest red crayon of all, but if that's too bright for your, um, for what you're looking for, you can drag that down and get a little bit of darker tones. This actually looks like it turns the bloody lights off, so that's a bit dark. But as I scroll through here, you're gonna see some different colors and yeah, you know what the darker is kind of good but we want to keep that green up in there so maybe that's a color i want to go with right there now maybe that's what we want you can also get in here and start adjusting the opacities the source opacity you eh, don't really adjust that one too much i kind of like it at 100 percent because it, it keeps the green in this opacity you can adjust as well again do you want the lights off or do you want some sort of various shades I kind of like the default, not going to lie. You can also flip through the blending modes. The exclusion is automatically chosen, and it is a good one, but you can look at other ones like difference. I don't know. That's got a nice look to it. Actually, look at that. That really gets the darkers popping, and it doesn't give you that brighty. You know what? Difference is probably better than exclusion. Yes, I quite like that, so maybe we're going to stick with difference. But, oh, lightens, just that's just bad. Darken, ooh, not good. It's just too dark. But let's, you know what, we, we did some experimentation, and now we got difference up in this. This looks like a real infrared. Hell yeah. All right, now you can go down here and start chirping with the histogram, with the, with the, uh, the gamma, the hue, the saturations. You can see here as I go to the left, wow, that gets right into the weird zone. But if you go to, too far to the right, it gets dark. So... I don't know, you know, what do you think, guys? Yeah, you know what? That looks pretty good. I'm going to control Z to see where we started. We started a bit to the right, and that also looks good. But if we turn it back to there, look, we're getting some more greens. We're making some more. We're, we're making some progress here, guys. All right, input black. These are all the different colors. You can, of course, adjust these to your taste. I kind of think it started. Uh, you know what? 
a little bit. I, I want to keep the green is my is what I really want. So you know, I don't. Let's start. Where do we start? Right there. If we go a little bit darker, we still got some nice contrast. Okay, we can go with that. Change the white. Ooh, yeah. What's up? So um, I don't know. It starts off pretty good, but you know what? If that's more your style, it's a little bit brighter, as you can see. But again, the the tones are really popping against there. It's got some really nice contrast. So maybe that's where you want to go. Again, guys, this is totally up to you. Season to taste. You can also change some of the hue saturation and the different channels. Like for the reds, for example, you can just drag the red hue. So if you want to go like a different kind of infrared, maybe you got some sort of future space age thing, drag that bad boy till you see fit or whatever. But I'm just going to control Z and, and go with the default, although... Well, yeah, the default is about where I would want it. Yeah, let's go back to his default. Saturation right here. You want to oversaturate here. I don't know. This has that really predatory look versus more of a washed out look. Again, season that to your taste. And the lightness. Yeah. Oh, maybe you want to take some of the light off. That looks pretty nice right there. What do you think, guys? Yeah, drop the lightness there. And bang, you've got a pretty sweet infrared. That looks pretty much the part. Now, if I was doing this for a movie, like, look, here's the transition. Bang, the light, the goggles go on. There we go. If I was doing it for a movie, I might add in a little bit more green. But then again, I don't know, maybe not, because I do kind of like the green over here. And again, red is part of the heat spectrum. So this would be totally cool. And that's infrared. But anyways, guys, that's how you add infrared. Again, you could start adding more things into it, like solid composites. This is just extra, extra credit. But you'll notice at the top here, we have a solid composite of red. You could add in another solid composite of, let's say, dark green. Where do we want to go with our green? And let's see if that actually adds in yet. No, it doesn't add, but you could actually go ahead and start changing with the opacities. Da, da, da. Ah, it's not really working, so we're going to switch that to exclusion. Okay, so we got some, we got a little bit of a different color. We've added a little bit more green to it. Again, nothing overwhelming, but as you change the opacities, there would be more green. So this is a bit more, I don't know, green and red as opposed to the traditional reddish uh, infrared. So that's all there is to it, guys. I hope this helps you add in some infrared if that's something you're doing. Give me a message. Let me know what you think of this tutorial, and I'll be back soon with some more stuff for you because that's what I do. All right, check it out. Big C.